A hiker stands on the edge of a cliff for 90 meter above the ground and throws a stone horizontally with an initial speed of 15 meter per second neglecting air resistance find the time taken by the stone to reach the ground i am not going to draw the cliff and all i am considering this as a graph okay it's a graph it is having x and y axis and here this is the point of throwing someone is throwing a hiker is throwing a stone from the top of a cliff with a horizontal velocity the vertical component is not there for velocity the y component is zero only we have x component this is the path it will be something like this it will be the path of the projectile it is a projectile motion it will be parabola we need to solve it velocity is given u u is given 15 meter per second it is magnitude only i didn't consider the direction if i am considering the direction u vector u equal to we need to write u x plus u y u x plus u y x u x i u x i plus u y j okay so this horizontal component it is having only horizontal component it is having only x direction so we are writing it is equal to 15 i because ux is given 15 i in y component there is no velocity because it is horizontal velocity only okay when we are throwing a projectile at maximum height at maximum height the sine component will be zero only it is going to have a cos component only because the we have considered in the derivation at maximum height the velocity is zero in a projectile velocity is zero okay when we are finding the maximum height the velocity is zero that is that is vertical component sine theta that is zero still it is having a horizontal component that's why it is moving again okay so u equal here horizontal component is there but there is no vertical component okay and acceleration is given a equal to okay here we are doing one thing if something in this graph in this graph the upward movement i am taking positive downward movement i am taking negative okay upward movement positive downward movement negative so displacement is in downward direction so in the graph also you can understand it is negative so vector a is equal to we can write minus 9.8 because acceleration is downward into j downward direction means vertical component there is no i component only j component so we are going to find displacement a relation for displacement s equal to ut plus half a t square using this relation what is a standard form of displacement s it is x i cap plus y j cap that is a standard form of displacement equal to instead of this u i am going to use 15 i 15 i cap into t plus no it will be minus because a is minus minus into half instead of a i am writing 9.8 j cap into t square i am going to write it properly in the form of vector x i y j cap equal to 15 t i just 15 i t i am changing into 15 t i minus then after that we can write 9.8 t square by 2 into j they have given one more thing this y j displacement what is the displacement it is 490 meter that is the height of the cliff 490 meter so that we can write here okay so i am doing one thing it is negative or positive it is in downward direction so it will be negative minus 490 j because that is given minus 490 j minus is because it is downward movement okay now we are going to compare these two equation okay minus 490 j it is minus 9.8 t square by 2 j so we can do one thing we are just comparing this one from here we can write x equal to 15 t right we are comparing these two x equal to 15 t here we can write 490 equal to 9.8 t square by 2 okay x equal to 15 t 490 equal to 9.8 t square by 2 from here we can find the value of t okay 490 equal to 9.8 t 
t square divided by 2 from here i can write t square equal to 490 into 2 by 9.8 okay t square equal to this one then t will be equal to root of 490 into 2 divided by 9.8 we got the time we got the value of time speed with which it hits the ground we need to find the speed not velocity we need to find the speed okay so first we need to find the velocity then we need to take the magnitude we are using the equation v equal to u plus u plus at okay vector v vector v equal to what is the value of u it is 15 i 15 i what is the value of plus what is the value of a minus 9.8 j right minus 9.8 j cap into 10 time is 10 okay 80 v equal to 15 i plus 10 into 9.8 it is minus 98 j okay so we got velocity now how to find the magnitude of this velocity what is the equation for the magnitude of the velocity it will be speed equal to if you are finding the magnitude of the velocity we will get speed speed equal to root of x square plus y square which is equal to 15 square plus minus 98 all square minus 98 all square under the root then the answer will be 99.14 just solve it you will get 99.14 meter per second here what is reason for this negative 490 joule because displacement is in downward direction that is y component 